Hey guys and welcome to another Block Spotlight. My name is Resero and in this spotlight we are going to take a look at the veterinary station from my factory Reloaded and all of the different types of syringes that come with the mod as well. Now I've currently got a little setup here at my old animal pen where I tested the slaughterhouse but for now we are going to have a look at the crafting recipe for the veterinary station which uh, is created using a factory machine block, some spider eyes, some empty syringes and some plastic sheets. Now the factory machine block is made using some stone and plastic sheets. Keep in mind you need these for every mine factory reloaded machine so you might want to make a couple of those. And the plastic sheets are made using raw plastic which can be obtained by smelting rubber bars or rubber from any other mod. Now if you go back and have a look at the empty syringes, these are created using a rubber bar, some plastic sheets and an iron ingot. Alright, so first of all let's have a look at the veterinary station here, so I've still got an empty syringe in there. So um, I've got it hooked up to a redstone energy cell, so uh, you do need to keep in mind that this requires energy to run. But uh, that's about it for this block, so you can of course uh, pause it by giving it a redstone signal. So the, what this block does is actually pretty simple. So I'm going to place some cows in here. There we go, so there's one baby cow here. And what we are basically looking to do here, maybe I should uh, quickly get me a sword and kill the rest so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. There we go. Okay, so I've got the one baby cow in there. And well, the first thing you can do with the veterinary station is uh, apply a growth syringe to said baby cow. And as you can see, the syringe is now empty and the cow is now a, a grown adult. So that's the first thing you can do. Of course, keep in mind, you can also use these syringes manually. So the veterinary station basically just applies them automatically for you. Now, if we try to get another baby cow here. There we go. So we've got another baby cow. And we add a zombie syringe. Well, in this case, it turns into a zombie. So the zombie syringe basically allows you to grow a baby animal or villager as well. However, there is a slight chance of it turning into a zombie when it does. So keep that in mind. The recipe might be a bit cheaper, but that's the drawback of this syringe. So let's try that again. So let's spawn some cows and there's a baby cow got another zombie syringe in the veterinary station and this time it grew into an adult cow rather than turning into a zombie. Alright, so that's how the zombie syringe works. Now I've also got a health syringe in here. Now what this does is actually fairly simple. I've got a cow here, I've now hurt this cow and it's given the health syringe to restore its health. So that's basically how that works fairly straightforward and finally I've got a slime and beginning syringe in here and slime and beginning syringe well you might uh, have guessed from the name it allows you to grow a slime as you can see it turned into a massive uh, mega slime here because the uh, slime and beginning syringe was applied to it so that's basically what uh, that syringe does this guy is really tough to kill so it turns slimes into bigger slimes, so of course it can also turn the really small slimes into bigger ones. Let's have a look. So it's in the corner here and it should be given this range. There we go. So now it's a bigger slime and well it would get bigger of course if it didn't hop off into the distance. Alright, so let's get back those syringes. And uh, well, I've got one more here, the desombification syringe. Now, I'm not sure I can show you guys that easily. Basically, what this does is it allows you to change a villager, uh, which has been turned into a zombie villager, back into a villager. So, fairly simple. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the syringes you have. So, I'm going to have a quick look at their crafting recipes, of course. Now, 
let's see, I think I'm missing a couple now, so let's get some new slime embiggering syringe, and yeah, that's about it. So the slime embiggening syringe is basically created by adding some slime balls and a piece of lava lazuli with uh, an into an empty syringe, basically, which uh, gives you the slime embiggening syringe. Now for the health syringe, you just need to add an apple into a syringe, so fairly simple. Then the growth syringe requires a golden carrot. Okay, so maybe slightly more expensive, but uh, well, it could be worth it, of course. However, if you want to get, uh, get away with it uh, cheaper, you might want to make some zombie syringes, which is just uh, a lot of rotten flesh, so eight, eight pieces, sorry, surrounding an empty syringe here. So, as I said, this uh, has a chance of turning your baby animals into a, uh, into a zombie, but the chance is fairly small, but it might happen though. And of course you have the desombification syringe, which is also fairly expensive, it requires a golden apple. So uh, that's basically it for how to craft these syringes. Now, there's a couple more things I want to show you guys. For example, we have, let's see... But yeah, there we go. So let's kill these other guys. Wow, these filters are really tough. Okay, just go ahead and die. All right. So we've got a little baby villager here. Well, you can also gr use growth syringes on them. And they also work with the veterinary station. So that's very convenient. You can uh, grow villagers as well with this. And, well, I don't think you can use the veterinary station, uh, station for this, but you can also grow zombies. So, let's have a quick look. And when I say grow zombies, I mean grow regular zombies into massive mega zombies. Okay, so that's basically it for the syringes and the veterinary station i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one